Welcome to Pro Kitchen Video Tutorials. In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at how to use the reports feature in Pro Kitchen. Now we've got a couple different reports available. We've got our manufacturer report and we have our customer report. Now the customer report is the one that's customized to hand to your customer with the pricing. And the manufacturer report is actually the report that you would use to place the order. Now in order to get your reports, you have to make sure that your global specifications are set. Once your global specifications are set, you can simply click on a report button, and then you can come up here and you can fill out any information that you need. You can put your PO number in there, your order number, your job name. Um, some of these are a little bit different depending on the manufacturer. These are set up to work individually with each manufacturer. So you put your account number in there, all your information if necessary, any additional data that you might need, shipment charges if you need those, any special instructions that you might need, we can put in down here. And once you're satisfied with this page, then click on OK, and it'll build our report. It takes it a moment to do this, and our report pops right up when it's ready. Now, if you're a Showplace user, this page will look familiar. This is the Showplace order form. And here we have all of our items and the pricing. And this is ready to print off or save and fax or however you get your order to Showplace. Or simply print off and put in your file. Now, the other report we want to take a look at is our customer report. And here under our customer report, we have a few more options in here because you can tailor this for your use. We can add a sales tax or not, design charge or not, shipping charge or not. And you'll notice that most of these can be percentage, dollar charge, and we can tell them if it's taxed or not. The shipping can be per pound or per cubic foot. Installation. Now, if you put installation in here, you notice this is only $50. And you're thinking that's probably pretty cheap, that if you had an installer that would install a kitchen for $50, either he does a really, really bad job, or he does a good job and you're going to use him all the time because he's so cheap. But this is $50 per box. So for every base cabinet, for every wall cabinet, for every stick of molding, it's going to charge $50. Some installers use that feature. Some installers give you a price per job. If your installer gives you a price per job, you want to go ahead and enter zero here, and we'll look at that price per job in our next window. So now you can come down here and you can put in a discount or a multiplier or none if you choose not to use this. And it can be a percentage or a dollar. Now, we end up with questions on what is a discount and what is a multiplier. In the industry, they kind of seem to be used interchangeably. I know when I was selling cabinets, what we called our multiplier is what we now call our discount. So we've got a couple little question marks here. If you roll your mouse over the question mark, it will give you a description of what we mean by discount and what we mean by multiplier. Click on the logo tab and you can add your logo in here. You can tell it where to add it and you can put a header page or a footer page if you need to attach those as well. Pricing. We can click on do not show pricing and everything will come out as zero if you do not want to show the itemized line item pricing. You can also choose your catalog here if you've designed in more than one catalog, which we have not. Now remember I told you about the installation being per box in our catalog setting tab. Well, this is the field where you would enter the installation as a line item. So just come down here, double click on the window, backspace out, and you can enter in whatever price you want to put in here. Now I've added, entered in $1,510. And that $1,510, we'll look at the end of the report, and it'll, we'll see it show up there as a line item price for $1,510. And then project settings, here we can come in here and 
if we would have set up our design settings at the very beginning of this, all this information would be filled in, but we did not when I was building this layout. So your job name could come in here, your contract, all that information can be filled out here. And then we click on view report, and all that information that we would have filled out would have showed up right here. And we can hit our next page button. So here's our global specifications for our design our design pricing, more design pricing. As you come down here, you'll see we have an installation total. If we would have had a discount or a multiplier in here, the multiplier would have showed up over here. The discount would have showed up here. And our final total. Now we can print this. You can save this. You can change the size of it. You can do all the PDF things that you need to do and it's ready for your customer. So you can see that we've made the reports very easy to access and very easy to use. Hopefully this will help speed up the design process for you. So this has been Pro Kitchen Video Tutorials How to Use the Reports. Thank you for watching.